Now, before we get into the new Batman film, um, AMC, like I said, is in a little bit of heat for a little experiment that they're doing. Um, AMC CEO Adam Aaron announced that tickets for the Batman are going to cost $1.50 extra. This is part of a variable pricing experiment. And to quote Aaron, um, this is all quite novel in the United States, but actually AMC has been doing it for years in our European theaters. theaters. That was a direct quote from the company CEO. And funny enough, I was doing a little bit of reading as well. This, this sort of thing happening was actually predicted by bo- both um, George Lucas and Steven Spielberg like back in 2013. Um, Lucas shared his belief that movie going would eventually resemble like Broadway or sporting events because like, you know, whenever you go to like one of those events, like depending on where you are, um, if you're closer to the arena or to the stage, like your ticket may, be, may cost a bit more. Uh, if you're further back, you know, you get a cheaper seat. And so I, I, it's just weird. It's, I don't know, like, what do you think about, like, what they're trying to do here? God damn it, AMC. <laughs> That's how I feel. But, um, it's, it's odd because I get, no, it's not necessarily odd. If he's saying they've been doing it for years overseas and they've been doing it for over years overseas. But I, I think, I don't know, I think it's, it felt very strategic to do it now more than ever because of what's going on, how things are smoothing over. And the fact that the Batman, probably one of the other biggest movies to come out other than no way home to increase, you know, probably theater revenue and et cetera and profit and et cetera. And it just feel, it feels very strategic. It feels very tacked on. Like, Like that's how it felt. Not necessarily last minute, but just like, you know what? The Batman's coming out. Let's raise ticket prices for this movie when this happens, because Hey, it's Batman. That's how, how it feels. And that's kind of really a messed up, I guess, mentality. Understand, um, understandable, but at the same time, it's just like, why? Like there, there wasn't any, you were going to make money regardless, but uh, I don't corporations. (laughs) (laughs) No, it's weird. If I didn't have a list, I'd be more annoyed. Honestly, from a business point of view, like you know, I, I, it's pretty smart because the extra money you're going to make, you know, it's going to come from a movie that a bunch of people are going to see anyway, right? Like, exactly. An extra dollar fifty is not going to stop most people from seeing the new Batman film. So if they're going to do what they can to give themselves a little bump up, like it, it makes sense. It makes you know, sense. Like a, but also considering just how even some of the city prices. Of, th- of films have been going up and if you try to yep. get an IMAX ticket that's about $30. Yep. And you do tackle that with the Batman that's it's it's a bit more than probably some people are willing to pay but at the same time, you know, these films are also, you know, considering the Batman is also PG-13, parents may take their kids to see it. So, mm. it's you, you, it's just it's just like it, it felt very strategic. It felt like this was planned pretty early on, and they just For announced sure. it out of nowhere. Uh, you know, because it's the Batman, and you know we think it's okay. Um, and look at how much Batman is making right now, and it looks like it's on a r- route to making two hundred millions already. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah. No, it's like it's and it's weird. Like I can understand, like if you're going to do the whole price variance thing, right? Like I can understand doing that, like based on like the length of a film, right? Like how you're like, how long, you know, you're sitting in the theater for, right? Like, okay, a shorter movie is going to cost you less. A longer movie is going to cost you more that I can understand if they were to go through something like that. But you know, it's, it's an interesting development to say the least. Um, but you know, it's like, I don't know. I guess this is just the world that we live in right now with, you know, theaters like doing what they have to do to like really stay alive. I mean, AMC was almost bankrupt in like the last couple of years or so. So, mm-hmm. you know, but it just makes me wonder too, like by them doing this, are they going to, you know, create like a sort of bad vibe for themselves? Like with the fact that they're doing this and just like announcing this too. Yeah. I mean, like they made a decision. Um, I don't necessarily th- maybe about bad reputation or anything like that, but it's just like I think them what happened and how they were basically giving an out recent, you know, flash within the past year and everything because of the pandemic. Maybe it's getting a bit more to their head. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. So you know, we'll just have to see. Honestly, like I don't know. Like I don't think this will deter them 
too much, especially since it's a movie like The Batman. I mean, we keep up the stuff with, you know, we keep up to date with like a lot of these updates regarding like the movie industry and stuff like that. The average person does not. Exactly. If I'm not mistaken. So like, they're just looking like, you know, oh, I'm going to see The Batman. Like, oh, things are more expensive nowadays, right? Because of inflation and all that shit. Like, they'll probably, I feel like they'll probably just attribute it to that as opposed to AMC literally announcing like, oh, we're going to charge a little bit more for <laughs> for Batman tickets. Yeah, pretty much. So, I mean, it, it kind of, it's, the unfortunate part is that it is what it is. And it's just like, is there going to be a massive, let's say, protest against this and people aren't going to go to the theaters to see Batman or anything no. like that? No, I don't think so. But, um, you know, because the Batman is probably this is the biggest thing right now. Everyone's going to want to go see it. Everyone's going to want to go see it a second, third time, probably because of how long and dense this film is. But. So. It is what it is. <laughs> That's just how I got to yeah. say it. <laughs> yep. It's what it is at this point. So for all you guys that are listening to us, um, th- what do you think of AMC's little, I'm going to call it, like I said, experiment with tickets for the Batman. Leave your thoughts in the comment section.